Verse 16, we finish with these words. Also let grain from the bundles fall purposely for her. Leave it that she may glean and do not rebuke her. As we finish today, there's a final demonstration of his care for Ruth and Naomi. She's been instructed to stay in the field of Boaz and to follow close behind the women who gathered the stalks into sheaves. She'd been granted protection from any harm which she uh, might face from laborers. And she's been granted all of the water that she needed from the laborer supply. She was also granted the right to sit among the reapers, to dine with the laborers. She had extra food to take home and special permission to glean among the sheaves. And along with all of that, Boaz adds this final blessing upon her that she is unaware of. The reapers have been given their instruction to purposely let some of the stocks that they have in their hand fall to the ground for her. It would be like walking along the sidewalk and intentionally dropping money down on that sidewalk that a person was following, a poor person was following along behind on. As re the reapers cut, they would continue to grasp the stocks until their hand was full. And then they'd take that to where the sheaves were being bundled. In the midst of this process, they were to deliberately, not accidentally, drop some for Ruth. The entire scene that we see is a picture of the grace of God in Christ towards the Gentiles. He keeps us safely in his field of harvest. He allows us to work side along his own people. He grants us protection from harm, supplies with the water of life, bestows upon us a seat among his people at mealtime. He gives us an overabundance at the meal so that we're never hungry. And he allows us access to the riches of heaven itself with all of its superabundance. We have been granted exceptional care and many tender mercies by the Lord who loved us enough to go to the cross for us so that we could partake of heaven's meal together with him. God personally selected the details in today's verses to show us a minute glimpse of the immense care that he shows for those he loves. And it's all available to us, all of it, by a simple act of faith. Ruth showed faith in the God of Israel by clinging fast to her mother-in-law and in turn joining herself to him. We, by a mere act of faith in Jesus Christ, can likewise be joined to this wondrous God.